my first pendulum painting. The white washed out the color. The white is like the dominant feature. And if I'd known that before I started, I would have done the white first. So when you do your pendulum painting, throw your white first on the pendulum and then put all your color on top of that. So if I could do this again, I would have painted the canvas blue and then I would have done the white uh, throw of pendulum. Then I would have done my splash of orange that I just threw at the painting. And then I would have done my yellow on top of everything so that it was really vibrant and it shone through. But because I didn't do that, I'm gonna try to save this painting by doing a lime green throw, maybe something like this. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, we'll see. And then I'll splash some fluorescent pink. Um, and I'm gonna learn from my lesson. I'll splash the flu fluorescent pink first and then I'll do the lime green pendulum throw. So something to keep in mind when you're doing your pendulum paintings. Another thing that I think is uh, helpful to keep in mind is think about where your epicenter is. So my epicenter or the, the center of the swing is right here in this bare spot. So I want to keep this same epicenter. You may not, you may want a new epicenter somewhere else on the painting that may make it visually exciting to you. But if you wanna keep the same epicenter, just line your painting up wherever your pendulum hangs and wherever it hangs, that's your epicenter directly above it. Also, quick tip, you're gonna get paint everywhere. Make sure to set up a lot of plastic and wear clothes that you don't really care about. Uh, you will be covered when this is done, particularly your feet. So don't wear nice socks, don't wear your nice shoes. I'd go barefoot if I were you, my two cents. All right, so here's a trick. When you drill through these cups, they tend to rip, but if you put duct tape over where you're gonna drill, it doesn't rip. So my lovely assistant here, hold that. And just kind of press it into the creases. So one hole there, and then on the opposite side, we'll do another one. Then I'll take a drill, and I'll drill a hole through here, and then we'll uh, put the rope. rope through there, and then hang the rope on that. Another important thing that you need to keep in mind when you do this, you don't want your cup hanging flat. You want it at an angle, like this, so that all the paint will go to like one corner. And then that's where you're gonna drill your hole for your, uh, for your paint to come out. I wanted a very bright color. So um, if you go to like Hobby Lobby, that's where we went, or some kind of craft store, they have this uh, paint. It's called uh, Deco, Deco Art. Well, actually, that's not what these ones are called. Mm. Um, if you order on Amazon, it's called Deco Art. But uh, the stuff that they had at uh, Hobby Lobby is called Folk Art. So if you wanna pause that there, you can see it. Um, I'm not gonna put a black light on this, but this is like a super bright color and it's the black light brand. It was the brightest one they had. They also had some fluorescent ones, but not in the large containers. They only had fluorescent and small. So I'm going with the uh, with this uh, neon black light green. I think that'll look really cool and give this painting some really neat color. We're gonna tape our hole. I used a, a nail awl, a nail finisher. You could just use a nail if you don't have one of these but I use this to punch a hole in it. So I hold the cup and I see which way it's tilted. And then I want the, the hole on the side that it's tilting down to. If I put the hole up here, I won't get a very good flow and it'll run down the edge of the cup and then drip. So I'm gonna put that hole right here on this bottom edge and I just use this in a hammer and just punch right through. Please be good, please be good, please be good. Honestly, I'll probably stand, I'll stand like right here. I'll get a whole handful and I'll just go. Like yeah, that. perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I love it. Is it too much? No. It's, it's pretty busy. I think it might be a little too much. I like that. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see.